Hey, good afternoon everybody. It's July 1st, 2024, and we are in the Old Testament book of Nahum. We're going to read chapter 2, 1, all the way to 3, 4 today. All right, so God is going to describe his wrath, what it's going to do to Nineveh through our prophet Nahum. Uh, again, he used Assyria to punish Israel and take them away, but Assyria is just evil to the core. Uh, we, we paired this with Jonah last time. Jonah, about a hundred years before Nahum wrote, with his, with his prophecy to Assyria, to Nineveh in particular, which is the capital of Assyria, to say, "Repent, or God's going to destroy you." They repented, but they went right back to their evil ways. And now Nahum is come and saying, "Okay, that's it. God is now going to punish you. you. You've had your chance. You blew it." Uh, They're evil and they're sinful. And we're going to see what God is going to do to punish somebody who's evil and sinful and unrepentant. And it's total destruction. And that's what we're going to get here. So let's go ahead and we're going to read Nahum chapter 2, verse 1 to 3, 4. He who scatters has come up before your face. Man the fort, watch the road, strengthen your flanks, fortify your power mightily. For the Lord will restore the excellence of Jacob like the excellence of Israel. For the emptiers have emptied them out and ruined their vine branches. The shields of his mighty men are made red. The valiant men are in scarlet. The char chariots come with flaming torches in the day of his preparation, and the spears are brandished. The chariots rage in the streets. They jostle one another in the broad roads. They seem like torches. They run like lightning. He remembers his nobles. They stumble in their walk. They make haste to their walls, and the defense is prepared. The gates of the rivers are opened, and the palace is dissolved. It is decreed, she shall be led away captive, she shall be brought up, and her maidservants shall lead her as with the voice of doves, beating their breasts. Though Nineveh of old was like a pool of water, now they, are, now they flee away. Halt, halt, they cry, but no one turns back. They spoil of silver, they spoil of gold. There is no end of treasure or wealth of every desirable prize. She is empty, desolate, and wasted. The heart melts. And the knees shake. Much pain is on every side, and all their faces are drained of color. Where is the dwelling of the lions, and the feeding place of the young lions, where the lion walked, the lioness and lion's cub? And no one made them afraid. The lion tore in pieces enough for his cubs, killed for his lioness, filled his caves with prey, and his den with flesh. Behold, I am against you, says the Lord of hosts. I will burn your chariots in smoke, and the sword shall devour your young lions, and I will cut off your prey from the earth. And the voice of your messengers shall be heard no more. Woe to the bloody city. It is all full of lies and robbery. The victim never departs. The noise of a whip and the noise of rattling wheels, of galloping horses, of clattering chariots. Horsemen charged with bright sword and glittering spear. There is a multitude of slain, a great number of bodies, countless corpses. They stumble over the corpse because of the multitude of harlotries of the seductive harlot. The mistress of sorceries who sells nations through her harlots and families through her sorceries. May God bless Ringham's word, and may God bless you. Bye.